Hello, everybody. Today, we're taking a look at the LEGO Jurassic World Dominion set 76947 Quet Coatless Plain Ambush. It's an amazing set. And I'm trying to find some little stands for me to put the plane and, of course, the Quet Coatless on. I'm super excited to do a review for this set. And let's go ahead and jump into it. It comes with three minifigures and the uh, Lego Quest Coast. It comes with Owen Grady. Same print from all the Dominion ones. It's got his face. His second face. Kayla Watts. I love this figure. I think it's amazing. Got a more serious face. And then Claire, she has one exclusive outfit in this whole franchise, or not franchise, uh, Wave 1 of Legos. I th they might release more Dominion Legos once the movie actually comes out. So those are three minifigures. Now we're going to look at the, get out of here, Quotes Coachless. This is an amazing, let me see if I can find one of my turn. Here's one. It doesn't have its bottom jaw. I don't know where that went. But here's a pteranodon. Same size pteranodon from all the Legos. And here it is paired next to a Quetzalcoatlus. This thing is massive. It is amazing. These wings, the, I'm actually going to take them off. These wings, they look amazing. They're massive. The wings themselves are like two-thirds the size of a pteranodon. It is amazing. It's got its own piece to attach to the body. You actually have to open the back to get these. You've got the back. You've got eight studs on the back. It can actually grab stuff. I don't have anything for it to grab. So here, just use this. This is from a Lego City Boat, I believe. But it can grab onto it. Right there. It's pretty nice. This dinosaur is so unique. I love the crest right here. And the printing. And you can... It's actually got, like... They tried to make feathers. Like, you can see the bottom of the Therizinosaurus neck. They tried to make feathers. They did great on the Therizinosaurus. But, yeah, you can, it's got texture. Here's the beak. It rises up a little bit here. You've got the indent here. You've actually got a nostril. You can open the mouth. The wings got plenty of rotation. All that good stuff. You can also It's very nice Lego. It's decently heavy. It's definitely heavier than it's right dog. Obviously. Now we're gonna take a look at the actual plane and this one can actually combine with the T-Rex and a Triceraptor dinosaur breakout. Not in the same way that... Uh, you okay there, phone? So, let's start with the cockpit. This is a sizable plane. Quite coachless. Look at that. It's massive. Something I love about all these Dominion Legos is how unbranded everything is. I mean, if I look at all my... Dress squirrel by those. White and blue, that's all I see everywhere. I really wish I'd picked up that blue one. So, this part just comes right off. It's got stickers there, there, and there. There's the inside of the cockpit. You can sit three people. 
This one was actually printed, thank goodness. The propellers. Oh yeah, where did I put that? Here it is. This goes in the back. I'll show you later. But yeah, you can fit three people inside of there. Move to the back. We've got a sticker here. Oh yeah, these propellers can come off as well pretty easily. Pretty nice. And then you got a sticker there. I believe you have the same one on this side. You do. There you go. Now, it's going to be a weird angle, but. There we go. That opens, and so does this. And this is normally in there. I don't know why it wasn't. You have a wrench, flashlight, and a fire extinguisher on here. And this is where Owen's bike comes into play. Just go right here and grab it. Oh, it's right there. It's off Owen. Owen. It's my bike now. Here's the bike from the other set. I believe it goes in the face first. Yeah. Just slides right in. It's very nice. I believe that was purposeful as well. I believe they did that on purpose. If they did, props to them. I think it's great how they're actually making it so you can combine sets. Makes them a lot more fun to play with. Alright, stand up there. There you go. <laughs> of course, spin. And then... I love, this plane is just so unique. I don't know if I've actually ever seen another one like this in LIGO. I've seen these in real life. These come off. The wheels on the bottom come right off. You can roll it very nicely. It's very smooth as I can on a LEGO plate. Overall, just great LEGO in general. Yeah, I'll show you how you can fit some minifigs inside here. I think the reason it's as pricey as it is is because the Quetzalcoatlus It's very unique. Also, I'm pretty sure when you lay it down, like side to side, it's bigger than a gale. It's basically just an Indominus. I have the original Lego Indominus. I don't have the one from the Ankylosaurus set. But... You can fit it right, fit Owen right there. Where's Claire? Here she is. Kayla Watts. But yeah, they can all sit in there pretty comfortably. 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 <laughs> It's a very nice set, though. Especially if you're young and you've still got an imagination. You can just run around your house having these two a fight. I think the main focus of this set, and the reason that a lot of people, including myself, got it, was because of the Quetzalcoatlus. I just think it's such an amazing dinosaur. The print, how large it is, it's amazing. I don't think there's actually any play things really for, that goes with the set. Other than that, there's no parts that break off really, so please. So, yeah, that's really all we got for this one. It was kind of a short episode because, you know, it wasn't two sets like the last one. <laughs> So, I will see you guys in the next one, which will most likely be the Triceratops pickup truck ambush. And then the next episode will probably be on May 27th, because that is my birthday. And I will be opening the blue and beta Velociraptor capture, the Pyroraptor and Dilophosaurus transport, and also, what is this one even called? 
Giganotus, Giganotosaurus, and there's an Asaurus attack. I'm super excited for all those sets, and I can't wait to see you guys in them. So if you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. If you feel like it, you do not have to do anything. I'm not holding your family hostage. You might want to check that, though. I can't promise anything. I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully. Maybe. Unless that T-Rex up there eats me. Anyways, goodbye.